Michigan, we've got so many things that we're facing, and I think we ought to have more of these dialogues and discussions, and I'd like to see us do it with my opponent on live broadcast. I think that would be appropriate. So I'm asking her once again to engage in broadcast, live, statewide, televised debate. Any forum, name the place, name the moderator, I don't care. It's not rocket science, I'll show up. You're not allowed uh, to see the candidates side by side uh, presenting their different visions for the future of this nation in the United States Senate. And you are being deprived uh, of some of your ability, a great deal of your ability, to make a decision as to who you want to vote for on November 7th. Now to the issues that are critically important, obviously in Michigan, we're the only state in America that's lost jobs for three straight years. And that's very, very concerning, not just to us as a state, but to us as parents. You know, I don't want our three young children to do what many have had to do. In the past four years, almost 22,000 have left our state to find their future. We can change that. We just have to roll up our sleeves, do the things that are necessary to get it done, to help grow jobs, to help employers grow their business. There are individuals that uh, have no compulsion about doing things that push us in a very dangerous direction and are willing to hurt us. We need to be very clear and very forthright and very focused on protecting America. Having 20 years in law enforcement, that's what I do. I understand those challenges and I want to meet them head on because if we don't, bad things will happen. There are other many worthwhile projects, and they're very worthwhile, that we should, you know, that makes sense to fund. But if we have our children and grandchildren in mind, some of those we're going to have to say no, because we're going to have to live within a budget, the way you had to do in the state legislature when you were state senator. Like, you know, yeah, I agree 100%. In fact, you know, when you look at some of the spending, you know, you have to put the same benchmark you would as a person or as a business owner on it. Is it necessary and appropriate? And if so, is it being provided in the most cost-efficient, effective manner? And so many things don't meet those tests. That's the first thing, I think. The second thing is something that recently came up uh, in, the, in, the, in the Senate that I supported, even though I wasn't there, I rooted them on, is a transparency of how things are done and how appropriations are made and who's supporting it. If you make it very clear who put it in and who voted for it, yes or no, that suddenly you're held accountable for it. I think that's good. I believe in a balanced budget. I believe in a line item veto. I believe you don't spend more than you take in. And that's the big challenge, and that's something I'm completely committed to making a difference in.